Weeks or even months before a Yellowstone super eruption, these warning signs would trigger the mother of all evacuations. The area 60 miles around the volcano would become a hazard zone. Officials would place on alert the surrounding region, up to 200 miles, readying people for a violent eruption. As people evacuated the area, geologists would look out for new warning signs that would tell them an eruption is imminent. You start to see swarms of earthquakes as fresh magma moved into the system and broke the rock above it and it started to rise upwards. These earthquakes produce distinctive waveforms on the seismographs. The crack of rocks fracturing creates a signal that starts with a sharp rise and fades quickly. Long before an eruption, swarms of earthquakes would sweep the hazard zone and surrounding area. Just before a volcanic eruption, the signal produced by regular earthquakes would give way to a new signal, a long, continuous vibration. Now, when magma's opened a space for itself, it will start to move through that, and as it moves through that fairly rapidly, it will vibrate the walls of the, of the crack or the conduit, and that will give you a sort of rumbling um, signal. It sounds like the vibration of a large organ pipe. Scientists call it harmonic tremor. It's the last warning. This is what magma racing towards the surface might sound like. For anyone brave or foolish enough to remain in the hazard zone, the chances of escape would be slim. The Big Bang would be moments away. Last of a super eruption would be awesome enough, but it's nothing compared to what would follow. <laughs> 